accurate, up-to-date weather information for your neighborhood. Only on the Weather Channel. edition of WeatherScope, coverage of severe weather 96. Good afternoon to you. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Janine Diadama with you in the Forecast Center of the Weather Channel. Uh, a busy day and we're tracking another winter storm. It means snow in the northeast, but this is meaning severe weather again today in the southeast. This is Renz, Georgia, which is about 30 miles southwest of Augusta. Pretty uh, hefty damage done here to many mobile homes, including two brick homes. Uh, they were destroyed earlier today. Local officials believe it was a tornado that caused all this destruction, but that has not yet been confirmed. The storm left a path of damage three quarters of a mile wide and between two and four miles long. So damage done there. Also, uh, flooding damage. At Douglas County, Georgia, uh, state rescue workers had to save a man trapped by rising water. Uh, this is just west of Atlanta. This was yesterday. He had decided it would be a good idea to raft on swollen Sweetwater Creek. It wasn't a good idea. He had to be rescued. Uh, before the rescue helicopter arrived, WAGA-TV's news helicopter arrived. Uh, luckily, the man was not injured, and he was a lot wiser for it. Okay, what's going on in the southeast today? More rain, more strong thunderstorms, and as that cold front presses on through throughout the afternoon, we're going to continue to see the heaviest storms right out ahead of it, uh, right around South Carolina now. Some pretty uh, hefty storms moving through that area. Even back behind it, uh, the rain continuing. Birmingham Alabama, still light rain, but you received six and three quarters of an inch. This is the two-day storm totals ended this morning. Huntsville, Alabama, over four inches and close to five inches in Marietta, Georgia. And more rain is falling today. Take a look at uh, some of the other damage reports. Uh, we had many wind damage and hail damage reports from eastern Texas to around Shreveport, Louisiana, to uh, Tupelo, Mississippi, and also including Birmingham and around just west of Nashville, Tennessee. Tornadoes were uh, mostly uh, in and through southern Georgia, where we had several tornadoes confirmed on the ground in southern Georgia yesterday. And, uh, of course, today still the threat is there for tornadoes, especially in uh, South Carolina and the coastal areas of North Carolina. Uh, for most of Georgia, the threat is over. Most of the thunderstorms have moved on into Florida at this point, so uh, we're going to see uh, all of that continuing. All right, here's the radar. We'll show you where the stronger storms are. Uh, right now, it looks like a, just a whole lot of heavy rain, but uh, earlier, some strong storms moving on towards uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and there still is a severe thunderstorm warning out for Horry County with these storms right in through here. See that? Uh, right now, they pretty much dissipated, but these storms did some tree damage and knocked down power lines in Pleasant Hill in northwest Georgetown County. That was around 140, but now look at that. Everyone breathe a sigh of relief with me. All right. 
Uh, it looks like the threat is over through much of South Carolina. The storms are moving out to the coast. Uh, the only people who will be affected by these storms now are the boaters. So keep that in mind, the coast of South Carolina with those strong thunderstorms moving on off. All right, into Florida we go, and there is a severe thunderstorm warning until 245 for Duval County. So some strong thunderstorms are going to be heading on towards Metro Jacksonville. How about that? So strong storms moving into that area. And again, these have a history of producing hail and damaging winds and still a tornado watch out for this area. Uh, for the most part, uh, this is Tuesday through Wednesday, around Birmingham received up to three inches of rain. But Wednesday through Thursday, look at how that rain increases through Atlanta down to Macon. Anywhere from three to six inches of rain has been reported. More is falling, but this time it's further to the east. We'll see the heaviest rains in the coastal areas and into north central Florida. The possibility for another three to six inches of rain does exist here. Well, into the northeast, uh, most of the folks in the northeast today, you're going to be shoveling out uh, underneath uh, maybe three to six, even over six inches of snow, especially through central New York and on into western Pennsylvania. Heavy snow in Pittsburgh and uh, Scranton, Pennsylvania. And also the ice you see. Okay, this can be a little deceiving right in through here. And, and uh, that's Philadelphia. You are receiving rain right now. No more ice. But there has been significant icing in northern New Jersey and around New York City, Long Island. So keep that in mind on the roads. It'll be nasty on those roads. D.C., that's all rain. And as our low pressure area tracks on up, to the northeast. It still will be funneling in very cold air from back behind it. So we will start to see a lot of what is rain right now uh, changing on over to snow. All right, here's a satellite picture. It does show uh, some pretty clear skies back in through the eastern Great Lakes, but the heavier snows are going to be right in through this area and the heavier rains. Uh, we do see some brighter and higher cloud tops through the area. Our center of low pressure still uh, right around here. And again, tracking on off to the northeast. So uh, you could see all of that, how that progressed throughout the day. Just a big band of snow moving on through the area. The radar actually will show us in a moment, but first the temperatures, 14 in Albany, 13 in Rochester. It is 32 in New York, and still we're receiving some ice. So not all the layers of the atmosphere yet have been cooled down. So a lot of what uh, is falling to the ground is melting and then refreezing, especially uh, in extreme southern Connecticut and around Long Island into New York and through northern New Jersey. Big problems today with uh, icing. Heading out to the, any of the polling places in New York, you'll encounter plenty of snow around Albany, back to Binghamton, around Syracuse. Big mess through this area. Uh, around Philadelphia, again, heavier rain. There was some sleet earlier mixed in with that. But as the temperatures drop, we are expecting a, a lot of this to change on over to snow. So northern New Jersey, around Trenton to Newark, uh, that uh, freezing rain is coming on down. But the cold air has been evicting throughout the day, southward on into White Plains and the lower Hudson Valley. So a lot of what you're seeing right now around the New New York area is snow. Around Boston, it's snow as well. I believe uh, you are only, well, about 3.6 to be exact, inches away from breaking your all-time seasonal snowfall record in Boston. And the snow is coming down pretty moderately right now, and visibilities are pretty low throughout the area, so keep that in mind. And the snows will be uh, moving on up towards uh, northern and even into southern New England throughout the day. So Maine, uh, it's not too bad yet there and through New Hampshire, but all of that snow will be on the increase throughout the day. Well, just how much snow are we expecting? We think uh, 6 to 12 inches. There might be a few areas of a foot plus, but for the most part, the heavier snows through central New York, the Catskills are going to pick up some good snow from this. Also, the Pocono Mountains in uh, northeast Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, maybe uh, rather uh, Philadelphia, 1 to 3 inches of snow, and maybe a little bit of snow in D.C. before uh, our dry spot moves on in, so it'll pretty much dry out, even though the temperatures are going to cool down uh, in the D.C. and Baltimore area overnight. Well, that's a lot of information. I'm tired of talking. You're probably tired of hearing it, but uh, there's plenty of snow in the Northeast to talk about throughout the evening hours, and uh, we head to the studio now with Rich to see when the snow will end and when the threat of severe weather in the South will be over. Rich? Well, it certainly looks like the snow is going to stick around at least for a while longer, but our severe weather threat, it's almost ready to end across areas of the Carolinas. That's because the cold front is ready to push its way off the coast into North Florida. A little bit of a different story as there's still plenty of tropical air to feed into our front. As we look at our forecast, we notice uh, our high pressure area still well to the north in Canada. That tells us we still have quite a ways to deal with cold weather across uh, about the eastern half of the country at least, if not the eastern two-thirds of the nation. High pressure by tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, racing southward through the plains. Across the east, just about all we see on the map is white representing snow showers or heavier snow. You can see the heavier snow by tomorrow afternoon, still up through the green and white mountains. Uh, I know you're pretty much tired of hearing about it all. 
for the exception of the skiers, they're liking uh, the reports of the additional snow this year, but uh, I mean, it's just an amazing winter across, especially the Northeast with the record snows and around Boston. Again, we're watching carefully to see if you're gonna set your record today. Snow amounts in the Northeast, also a little bit in the Northwest. Temperatures look like this. Really, uh, the top story, it's going to be the top story once the snow and the ice and the mix and all the uh, types of weather move out of the Northeast. Cold weather visiting the Deep South, right on through the Midwest, the High Plains. The West is going to be uh, somewhat mild, if not hot in some cases. We're gonna be looking at temps into the 90s across Southern California and Arizona. Saturday's highs, 30s. Some of the readings will be close to 10 degrees for some of the lows visiting portions of the south. And the north, definitely still in the deep freeze all the way up until about Monday. Then it starts to get a little bit more tolerable. Saturday and Sunday, most of us will see dry weather. Maybe some more rain coming in the west coast by Monday, though. Coming up next here at the Weather Channel, we have a look at Alaska and Hawaii to see how the weather is looking as we uh, check those states out.